Greetings YouTube and welcome to the Blue Corner. In today's video I'll be showing you guys the scrap deck that I was mucking around with on DevPro for the last while. Uh, this is Scrap's Post Primal Origin, an early draft though, it's by no means finalized. There are some cards in here I'm not sure if I want to keep, if I want to add in, and yeah, we basically have a whole ban list to go until this deck actually really matters, but it is good to be playing Scraps again. I've truly missed mucking around with this deck. Gear Gear Scraps, Tengu Scraps with Mech Lords, and Scrap Keepers like Ryan Miles' build. I don't know if I got to play Evan Vargas' version though. I'll have to give that a shot again when I go retro format. But anyway, um, some thoughts about this deck. Factory is amazing, it's a huge boost. It allows the deck to just suddenly explode. You're, it's quite possible to put out multiple. Uh, it's quite possible to make multiple scrap dragons if you have a good enough hand. Factory allows you to pull off a turn one scrap dragon under the right circumstances. If you open Goblin Orthros in a scrap factory, that's a level one, a level eight synchro of your choice. Maybe even a level nine if it's Beast in Orthros in factory. The fact that this thing triggers when you lose your monsters to destruction effects of any sort is amazing. Call the Haunted, if you chain a, if they MST your Call the Haunted, you can just bring back a beast and then it dies because Call the Haunted's gone and then factory triggers. And in the mirror, both of you guys can use this, which makes the mirror match incredibly stupid. But as for the deck, it consists of two Golem, two Orthros, three Chimera, three Beast, two Goblin, two Monk, 3 Yard, 3 Storm, 3 Factory, 3 MST, 3 Upstart, Book, Dark Hole Terraforming, and for the Traps, 3 Fiendish Chain, Bottomless, two com uh, 1 Call the Haunted, 1 Compulse, Warning, TT, and for the Extra Deck, 3 Scrap Dragon, 2 Scrap Twin, Scrap Archfiend, Stardust Spark, Stardust, Crimson Blader, 2 Shark Knight, 1 Jin, 1 Exciton Knight, Dweller and Cowboy. Now, the thing about Scrap Factory to take into consideration is it can miss timing. It's a when you can effect. So much like like Pulsar Dragon, you have to be careful how you use it. But it does get its effects off of when you scrap storm one of your guys because the destruction and drawing occurs simultaneously, as opposed to things like what you might call it, Soul Taker, where it says destroy and then in a separate sentence entirely it says do this other thing. So this is the little part right here. If it says to the graveyard, comma, then do this, it all happens at once. So Scrap Storm does not make factory mistiming, neither does blowing stuff up with Scrap Dragon, but we'll kinda all do that. And it allows you to do some really crazy things. Um, I'm running a terraform right now to try and get to the factory because when you don't have it, you're playing standard style scraps. But at the same time, if you draw multiple factories it gets kind of clumpy. The three yards and three storms may seem a little much but I'm also running the summon a monk engine to pull stuff out of my deck. A beast, chimera, I almost want to run Blackwing Zephyr Rolls actually because of factory, Venus chain and call. And I'm not too certain if I like the two goblin so I might drop this and put in another card. These are some things I was considering. Scrap Breaker, Scrap Shark, I saw another guy play this, you summon it then you play Factory. Factory is an effect that activates, so Scrap Shark destroys himself. He sends something to the graveyard. Factory activates. You get a go golem out of your deck. It's a two card combo that puts out a Scrap Dragon on the board, and if the Scrap Dragon dies, you get a golem. And you can kind of do stuff from there. I'm running the upstarts because, well, I need to get to my pieces very quickly. Scraps have always needed to have this and that. I've always wanted to have Chimera with a beast in the grave. Need to get factory plus this so I'm running it over pod duality as it allows me to go into Xyz or synchro plays immediately after playing it especially if I have monk. And MST is really important because this deck hates bottomless trap hole with a passion. It doesn't care about torrential tribute. That's perfectly fine but bottomless hurts and you want to get those out of the way plus you can chain it with dragon to blow stuff up. It's always nice. Same for Venus Chain. Venus Chain something, if they exceed with it, fine. You get something to feed the dragon. And then the other cards are all self-explanatory. I want to put another call. I've always liked two in here. So I might do that now that I've got the Goblin out. 
and I'm just gonna say that drawing golem is awful. You never want to see this in your hand. The more golems you draw, the more the less useful factor becomes, as you can really only pull out these things right here, which is never fun. Orthros is an iffy one too. I don't know if I want to run two or one. It's nice though when you have the factory and a scrap monster as a legend to just do stuff. You saw me do it a couple times where Again, with that opening Scrap Factory, Goblin, and Orthros, I ended up with a Scrap Golem, Goblin, and an Orthros. So I ended up with a Scrap Dragon and an Orthros on the field. It's 3k plus 1900 at the same time. It's pretty good damage. It's almost half the life off. So for the main, I'm kind of okay with this, but there's things I can fit in. Redox is another one. You can pitch Redox, but uh, pitch Redox in a Scrap Monster to special something back. That's good. Otherwise, I'm not too sure about him. The level's awkward. But him and the tuners allow you to make level 10s and level 11s, which is somewhat relevant. But that's it for the main. Is for the extra, three Scrap Dragons are mandatory. They're 2800 floaters. Same for Scrap Twin. It gets around destruction proof things. The Archfiend, for when I have to go Chimera into Goblin. Stardust Spark and Stardust does my additional elites in addition to Crimson Blader. And because Chimera is so good, you can run a whole bunch of. Exceeds monsters. The two copies of Arc Knight. I found myself needing this more than just once in a duel. So I'm trying out to see how two are. Just being able to suck up an annoying monster like Ophion is really, really good. Queen Dragon Jin. You can special summon back Scrap Dragons from the graveyard. Yeah, he can't pop anything, but when he gets killed by your opponent, you get to special summon back something else. And yeah, you can also special summon back Stardust and Scrap Twin as a beater. She's good. Evil Swim Excite on Night is ridiculous. It's the Black Roach Dragon. That's the only way I can really describe it. And then Dweller and Cowboy because they're just really good. I also thought about putting in Lava Vault Chain. You can put something you need in the graveyard or you can stack a Chimera on top of your deck, but I had to cut it out in order to make room for the Arc Knight. So we'll have to see there, but the extra deck options have expanded considerably since the last time I played Scraps, where I was forced to run things like Fairy King, whatever, Albert Dirch, or whatever. But, um, we're just gonna put this in right now, actually. So, that's that. I probably will try experimenting with Shark, though. He does seem like he could do some greedy things with Factory. And it just happens, but otherwise, though, I am liking the deck. It won't be tier 1, but it'll be a very solid tier 2 deck. And in the right hands, perhaps even 1.5, it'll probably be good in the September 2014 format, if anything else. But if it ends up being a slow, grindy format, then this deck has a chance, as Scraps love the long grind games. Scrap Dragon just picks apart slow decks. It always has been. Rather effective against them, I mean. So, yeah, that's what I've got for Scraps post Primal Origin. This is the first draft. It'll change. A couple times, especially once the new ban list comes out, and we'll see what gets hit and what doesn't. But yeah, um, scrap cards are starting to go up in value, especially Orthros. And if you're gonna try and build this deck, I try and pick up things like Alti Scrap Dragons as soon as possible, as they will be rather costly. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, this is Blue Star 99 jacking out.